Today we're going to focus on our completely 3D printed version of the vintage Mars Lander. This is a straightforward print. All the instructions are clearly laid out on the Thingiverse site, and I'll leave a direct link down below. No supports are needed, they are perfectly built into the design. The only non-printed part in this build is a D-E engine mount that I bought, built, and installed separately. The internal tube that holds the motor mount is printed in ABS, as was this baffle. However, I broke the baffle during install, so I decided not to use it. The nose cone is weighted with 22 pennies, which is all that'll fit inside the holder. This might be overkill, but we'll find that out on launch day, which for you is going to be later on in this video. The main airframe, nose cone, legs, and feet are all printed with PLA. Here we have all the components minus one leg and foot, which are still on the printer. Here's a quick look inside, and you can see how I fixed the lander legs into place. That's just some 18 gauge copper wire that I pinned into the mounts. There are two elastics on each pin leg connection. However, you're not here for a build, you're here for the launch. So let's head on out to the field. Here we are at the field with the 3D printed vintage Mars lander on the launch tower. The specs on this thing are as follows. This has a height of 13 inches. It has a body diameter of 3.65 inches and a dry weight of 360 grams or 9.2 ounces. This is going to be going up on an Estes D12-3 motor. We're on the tower and we're going in three, two, and one. We have a low short flight, perfect parachute deployment. That massive 36 inch chute is bringing the lander down very nicely. And it looks like we're going to go just into the weeds. Let's go check this thing out. There's the lander on its side, to be expected since we're deep in the weeds here. And the altimeter is showing 179 feet. As you can see, not a single bit of damage on the lander. Let's see that again. So there we have it. That's our very first test of the completely 3D printed Mars Lander. Next time we're going to put an e-motor in this thing and we'll see what happens. So if you enjoyed this video and you're actually still watching, how about you like and subscribe and I'll bring you more rocket content as I get time. Thanks for watching. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.